Okay. <coughs> All right, this is day nine. We did these in class. You guys hopefully know how to do this. Just want to make sure everyone knows how to do elimination, right? Um, zero there, you save. And then y is 1, so you put in um, 1 right here, so that is 2x plus 3 equals to 1, so you minus 3 to both sides, you get 2x equals negative 2, and then you divide by 2, you get x equals to negative 1. So your solution is the two lines will meet here at negative 1, 1, right? In this case here, I would multiply this one by negative 1, distribute it all to all of them. So I get negative 2x, that gets you 2x, minus 18y, that gets you 0, that's elimination, eliminate that. Um, and then multiply that, you get a positive, um, negative 18, right, positive um, 9, positive 9. I'm looking at the 2 instead of the 1, um, that, you get a um, positive 9. And that gets us 18, right? Um, and then you divide by 2, x is 9. So if x is 9, um, what, what is y? So I'm going to use 2x plus 18y equals negative 9. And x is 9 here. So that's 18 plus 18y equals to negative 9. I subtract 18, subtract 18, you get negative 27. Um, 18y equals to that. Um, did I do something wrong? Did I copy something wrong? Uh, okay, divide by 18, divide by 18. It doesn't go in evenly, but we can reduce it by mine. So the answer is negative 3 over 2. So why is negative 3 over 2? Didn't say to check. Hmm, that's where the two lines meet at. So when you have this, I would get rid of, of this one here, right? By multiplying one of them, I'll just multiply the top one by a negative 1, right? Um, that gives you negative 2x, and that gives you a positive 3y. That gives you a negative 61. Um, eliminate x, you have 2y left, and you got a negative of 61, 15. That's 6, and that's 46. And divide that by 2, you get 23. So your ordered pair is 23. That's y, x, and y, remember. Um, so I'll choose the, two, the bottom one, 2x minus y equals to 15. So y is 23, so 2x minus 23 equals 15. I add 23. I get 38. Um, 2x equals to that. And you divide by 2 x is um, 19, right? That's where the lines will meet. Um, well, this one is easy. That eliminates that one, right? And that gives you 5x. That gives you um, 55. And divide by 5, you get x is 11. Okay, so x is 11. I love this because I can do, hopefully, I probably made a mistake because I'm doing it so fast, right? 2x plus 5y equals to 2. Um, x is 11, so 11 here, that's 22, plus 5y equals to 2. Subtract 20, you got 5y equals negative 2. I mean subtract 22, because I got negative 20 already. And my answer, y, is negative 4. Um, Uh-oh. Here you would use um, substitution, right? I would substitute this into here where y is. So 7x minus 2x equals to 15. You got um, 5x equals to 15. Um, divide by 5x is 3. Well, if x is 3, y is y equals 2x. If x is 3, y is 6. Okay, and use substitution there. Okay. These are Pythagorean theorem. Let's see. Similar triangles, right? Assuming um, <clears throat> similar. Um, find a tower's height from the given measurement. Two are similar. So I put 0 0.2 over. These are corresponding sides over 8 equals to 
1 over the unknown here, the x for the building. So 0.2x multiply diagonal equals to 8 divide 0.2. I think that's 40, right? Yeah, x is 40. So the building of tower is 40, um, 40 meters high. Okay, um, these two are similar. What's the length of QT? Q to T. Oh, that's interesting. And then Q to S. And RT, RT, right here, you can use Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals 2 C squared for this one, for RT, for letter C. This is for letter C, okay. And you get 3 squared plus, you do that. But the similar triangle, the one you would have trouble with, is number 2. You haven't done that in a while. So what I do, I break it into two triangles. Okay, because I know how to do these ones right here. Pretty easy, right? So what I do is I break these into two triangles because I'm visually challenged. So I break up into these triangles right here. Um, first triangle... Um, QTP, that's 9, and then this length we don't know. So this is the unknown length. The little triangle, it's right here, is 3 and 4, right? Corresponding angles, 3 goes with 9. Hey, that's a third, right? So must the Q to T must be 12. 3 over 9 equals to 4 over what? So um, 36 equals to 3x, divide by 3, x, the missing length right here, x represents um, q to t, right? This is x. Um, so q to t equals um, 12. If this whole thing is 12, then q to s right here, Q to S is 12 minus this 4, which is 8 meters. Okay, and R to T, if you do it, it should be 5. All right, Pythagorean theorem. Hope that's helped.